So if you need a little bit more to DVR, how about three channels? These models give you the ability to have an internal camera, a rear camera, and a front camera. So three channels built in with a four inch factory replacement mirror with a screen, 1080p recording, infrared IR in the cabin, and your rear camera. Super night vision because of the IR, and we use a higher grade IR that doesn't give you a red glow at night in the background. Taking a look at the controls on here, you can see right now we're displaying three different pictures. Internal right here, rear camera, and our front camera that we have here. By using the touchscreen technology, if I touch, it takes us into our settings mode and we can use right and left to go through our settings, back out to our picture. This button here scrolls you through the display of one, the rear camera, the internal camera, or all three cameras. This button here turns off your display for night driving. There's also a setting inside where you can set it to not display at all, display for one minute, or display for three minutes. If I touch the frame again, the panel comes back up. We can shut off our internal microphone for recording, and you can also lock the controls if you would like to. We go back, turn off the screen. Another feature of the mirrors is how you control them. Normally, you'd see buttons and you'd think, hey, it's a touchscreen. And what happens is a customer goes, well, it doesn't work. The reality of it in this model is it's a touch frame. By touching the black frame under the button, it operates the function. This keeps you from getting fingerprints, as you can see, all over the screen. Keeps it smudge free. So all you have to do is touch the plastic on the screen. Now on the frameless model, obviously there's no frame. On the other model, since we do not have the internal camera, we have our rear external camera, which we just talked about. The rear external camera is a true 1080p camera. So now you've got the 8.3 megapixel on the front and you've got the 1080p on the back. But keep in mind, you can mount this anywhere. It doesn't have to be on the back. You could mount it inside the cabin if you wanted to as well. So when we take a look at it, what you have, real front 4K, real rear 1080p, super night vision internal in the vehicle with IR assist. You have your anti-theft cover on the SD card for the DVR and our Wi-Fi connect, which we haven't talked about, which works. So now I'd like to discuss a new feature and that's a safety lock on the SD card of the DVR. One of the problems that people have come to us about is, hey, it's very easy to remove the SD card from my DVR. So what if an accident happens and someone takes the SD card out? No, well, it's gone. So what we've done is we've incorporated a safety cover, which requires this key to remove the screw. This is a special five point key that's designed just for the screw in the top of the cover. And even if you have a safety key set, you're not gonna find the exact same one. So you remove the screw from the safety cover. Oop. Take the safety cover out and the SD card is right here. And the SD card comes right out. Now it's also important to note while we're doing this that if you're putting the SD card in, you need to make sure the SD card goes in the correct way. So the writing on the SD card would go towards the back of the mirror, make sure it locks in all the way and it's flush. And then you're gonna put your safety cover back on just like it was, insert the screw and run it down with the safety key. Now your SD cards back in the mirror DVR, safe, secure, and ready to go. Let's talk about mounting the mirror. One of the challenges out there is not all cars use the exact same mount. This one that you see here is a standard tombstone mount. It's used in Ford, General Motors, Chrysler, Jeep vehicles, and it has been for years and years. But what if you have a vehicle that is different? 
What's available are different mounts for the back of the mirror. Now this is a two ball mount, meaning that this will adjust at both the front and the rear, giving you a lot of flexibility for space. There are special mounts made for say Nissan vehicles, some short stubby mounts for Fords, Mercedes, just about every vehicle out. So there's two ways to do this. One is to actually replace the entire mount that goes on the mirror or with an adapter. So this is the F1 mount. And basically what we're doing, there's a Phillips head screw in here. We're gonna drop it into the mirror, run our screwdriver in and tighten the mount up into the mirror. Once you do that, it's attached right to the mirror. The other way you can do this is there are adapters. To give you an example for a Mercedes Sprinter van, there's an adapter that goes on the windshield itself, and then this piece will slip right onto that. So you have two ways of making sure you have the right fit. One is by ordering a different leg base to go onto the windscreen. Two is to have the adapters available. Hey, we're in the shop and we have a camera here. The camera can be used three different ways. Externally with the bracket, on a front windscreen with a bracket, or on the rear windscreen with a bracket. When you receive the camera, the camera will be mounted in the rear windscreen bracket. To remove the camera, there's two small Phillips head screws in the bracket and it comes with a screwdriver. Remove the Phillips head screws and then slide the camera from the bracket. You'll notice the two holes on the back of the bracket. Next, you wanna take the same two screws that you removed and attach this bracket to the back of the camera using the two screws. The holes will line up and then you're ready to go.